All right, oh boys. Today, I'm going to be covering everything about relics in Honkai Star Rail. Step one, how to get relics. So you go up here to your Inter Astro Guide. And then when you click it, you'll have the Cavern of Corrosions. If you don't have this yet, you have to get to around Trailblazer level 24 in the story. To unlock these, you'll just find them and boom, you have some of these unlocked. Now, you might not have all these unlocked. The, the later ones, you unlock the further you progress into the game. The rarity and amount of relics you get depends on your equilibrium level too. So the higher you are, the higher uh, amount of relics you get. And I think at equilibrium le level 4, you start getting golden relics. But for now, let's just cover the purple ones since 99% of people will be right there. If you're watching this in the future, everything still applies, but you just have higher stats. And the two piece link rope and planner sphere you can get from the simulated universe and clearing that one from world three onwards. All right, step two, what do they do? Um, they give you stats. Okay, that's, a, that's as, as simple as I can make it out. They give you stats, they give you substats. If you go to your details, you click more stats. Pretty much everything that is here, they can increase. So you want to look for stats that benefit your character. Dunhang is a wind DPS. Obviously, I want wind damage on him. And then for good damage in general, you want higher crit rate and higher crit damage. One thing though that you can already determine before you, we get into the stats of them, which stats you can roll, which stats they come with on the base, it is the set piece. So if you have multiple of the same type of artifact, if you have multiple of the same one, you activate effects. With two, with two pieces, you get 10% wind damage increase on this one. And with four pieces, you advance your um, action by 25% once you have your ultimate. Uh, once you've used your ultimate. On this one, it's a two-piece reduces damage taken. So on and so forth, right? They have different effects and they all do different stuff. You want to match them with your character. Right now, it's fairly obvious which one you want. I might be doing character guides in the future so I can go in more in depth on which one you want on said character. But for now... I trust in your decision making to match wind damage with a wind DPS. Now let's get into the nitty gritty stuff, the stuff that you're probably here for. And that is the main stats, the substats, the examples and all sorts. Okay, so main stats. Let's talk about the main stats. Now we have different type of main stats, obviously for each different type of um, equipment. Now, the helmet always comes with flat HP. If we check um, in game again, if we go to relics, I go to this helmet, it's HP. If I go to this one, HP, 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 they're all flat HP, okay? The gloves, they're always flat attack, flat attack, flat attack, flat attack, flat attack, flat attack, flat attack. Now the rest of them, they have some variants to them. So uh, let's go back to uh, that one. First of all, the chest piece or what they call it, the body piece. This one can come with HP percentage increase, attack percentage increase, defense percentage increase, crit rate, crit damage, your outgoing healing, and your effect hit chance. So they're all pretty fairly obvious. The outgoing healing means you heal more when you heal, when you cast heals. And the effect hit is if you have effects like burn and stuff that you want to apply, or uh, slows from like uh, imaginary characters, for example, they, they have a higher chance to apply those effects. Also very, very straightforward. Now the boots, or what they call the feet, <laughs> the feet um, piece is the same thing. HP attack, defense, percentage increase, but because they're boots, they're shoes, you know, they're geox, you can get speed on them. Kajiao. Very good. Uh, speed is very good on certain characters, but you'll have to figure it out yourself or when I make the character guide, you know, subscribe, uh, you'll, uh, you'll get that on the characters that will benefit from that the most. Now we have the planner sphere which I'm never going to call that again. And this one is basically, if you've played Genshin, the equivalent of your cup. It has HP, attack, defense, defense percentage, and then it has all the different typings, damage increase. So if you don't know what I mean by that, if I go back to um, the game, if I go on this one, I have wind damage boost on this one, right? Um, but I can also get attack. I can get physical damage boost. I can get oh, attack again. Lightning damage boost. I can get HP. I can get defense. Boom, I covered it all. You'd love to see it. So, back to this. So, the next one, we have the Link Rope. Interesting name. It is HP, attack, defense, percentage again. Then you have your break effect. Um, if you don't know what your break effect is, you can check in game. You go to the typing. You go over here. And then it will tell you what each weakness break will do to the enemy. This one applies a wind shear, which does wind damage over time. 
This one does physical damage over time, which is bleed, fire damage over time, so on and so forth. This one can freeze, this one does, uh, and then they get more complicated, so on and so forth, right? Very simple, but it increases the potency of that one, so it'll, it'll be doing more damage on the imaginary, it'll slow them for more, right? That is what that one basically increases. Now, the next one is the energy recovery or re regen rate, and that's pretty much when you do stuff, how much energy do you regen? Let's say your character on normal hits recovers 16 energy. If you have a 10% increase, then you'll recover 17.6 energy. Well, I think they round up, so it's going to be 18 uh, energy every normal attack you do. Right now, I don't think uh, these two will be too useful. I think the break effect will be really useful once we get quantum um, support units, or maybe maybe even on the uh, DPS because it's really potent, and on imaginary. I don't think it's too potent on the the other typings in the game, but for the quantum imaginary, I actually can see break effect being really strong. But again, that's a whole different video. That were those were the main stats. Okay, now let's talk about the thing that no one likes. And that's a substat. Okay, these substats you can roll any type of equipment. You cannot, however, have the same main stat and substat. So if you have crit damage as your main stat, you cannot have crit damage as your substat. That would be crazy. Although I wish they'd let us do it because imagine having boots with like 40 speed. That'd be cool. Regardless, so uh, it's pretty simple. It's all on screen. You can get the flat HP attack defense which uh, you will hate yourself for you can get the percentage hp attack defense which you always get defense crit rate crit damage both fantastic speed is a flat number um break effect increase same thing effect resistance and effect hit rate so effect is stuff like burn like shock like bleed that you um that your characters will have on their attack right let's say your character has a 65 percent chance to freeze you get 10 percent increased effect hit rate um that will get increased by 10 percent of that 65 not actually it won't go to 75 no that that would be too silly and then effect resistance how resistant are you to your enemy freezing you the enemy applying burn on you and so on and so forth and then break effect the same thing that i already covered so that is it pretty much those are the roles you can get on your pieces now if you're new to this type of game Pretty much what everyone agrees upon is on your main damage dealer, what you want is a lot of crit rate with crit damage, right? The uh, rule of thumb, which is capped by the way, but I'll just mention it, is you want double the crit damage of your crit rate. I think it should be different. I think it should be triple, but it depends uh, on how accessible crit rate and crit damage are in this because our light cones, they don't really work like weapons. They work more like craft essences or whatever the uh, epic seven equivalent is called. You want crit rate, crit damage, and then you want the type boost of the character. So for Dunhang, he's wind. I want wind damage. Outside of that, there's going to be a small um, stats that will also matter depending on the character, like speed, for example. On Dunhang, or a character like Zele, um, or a character like uh, Yanqing, I definitely want speed. But on a character like Clara, I don't want speed. Right? On a, Cla a character like Clara, I might want to prioritize HP and physical damage over speed and crit because uh, of the way she works. I have two examples here, which cover the four piece and the two piece. So first of all, you can have a four piece main uh, equipment set, right? The head, hand, body, feet pieces on your character. And then you have these two inner ones. Now this one will be the link rope and the planet sphere. They link up um, separately from these four here. That's why they're in the middle and um, they have different effects, right? So on this one, I have four piece Hunter of Glacial Forest. So I get ice damage and I get crit damage when I ult. And then I have the two piece uh, space ceiling station set, which is the link rope and planner spheres uh, set, which increases my attack when I reach certain speed. And then here is an example of two, two, two. I have the two piece in the, on the inside. I have a two piece attack increase. And I have two piece wind damage increase. Now I wouldn't recommend this for like most characters. There's some like uh, Pella thing where this one like would be better like to do this type of setup. Um, or like serval. But this is also something you can do. You can mix and match as long as they fulfill the basic two piece requirement. If you don't have like four good pieces yet, you can mix and match two ones that will end up being more damaged than the four piece. Or in some cases, it might be optimal to run a 2-2 piece. Right now, I believe most characters, if not every character, will just want the 4 piece for their element. Or the main set that they scale off, like the Trailblazer Fire probably wants the defense set, so you can give bigger shields and do more damage since he scales off defense. But for the mo the uh, the rest, they just want their typing as their damage or the healing for the healing character. But that's going to be it. I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, I answered every question you had about relics. And that's going to be it from me, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ciao.